it's great to see everyone here today for the second session of the Career Leadership Forum sponsored by the Duke Energy. This is really the halfway point through the uh, Career Leadership Forum sponsored by Duke Energy. And today the students are going to do some one-on-one -on -one question and answer, learning more about different occupations within Duke Energy, all the way from you know, customer service in the, in the call center, all the way to the folks that uh, work on the lines and operate the power plants. So. What their preparation was? Definitely, you know, extremely interested in, you know, what we do um, as a company that, you know, they don't they ask just what I do, they're asking company-wide, you know, questions, you know, getting the different perspectives from the different, um, different parts of the company to see how we feel about each other and the, the paths that you can go. After you're validated in the field, but you see up there at the uh, power transformer there, so the big thing that, re, that Lee is, is responsible for is these relays that, that are checking in the mic. So it's uh, been a real eye-opener because we find a lot of times when we're trying to do hiring and bringing new people on that, that the, the talent pool is very limited. And so this is a good way to get young people involved and get them started early in the field. So, you know, myself, for instance, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I started out, right? I left high school, joined the Navy because I had no idea. And <clears throat> so seeing a lot of people, seeing a lot of kids in a similar situation, it's just, it's a good reassuring feeling that they're open to opportunities. And I'll take them there and I'll say, okay, see how this wire? There is a, a general student body that may not already have made up their mind, whether they want to go into a magnet program, whether they have a career in mind, and they really don't know what they don't know. And because uh, everything is changing so quickly with technology, because jobs change all the time, a business keeps reporting that there's a job skills mismatch. And what we're trying to do is give both business an opportunity to talk to the schools and say, these are the kinds of skills, these are the kinds of jobs we're looking for. Please prepare students for these potential careers. And we're looking from a school district perspective to understanding what these jobs are in the future so that they can perhaps integrate some of this content, be they soft job skills or actual content itself, into their curriculum program.